Hi, I'm Leszek Emil Butek and I'm a CAD designer here in Zortrax Research and Development Lab. It's extremely important for us to build the finest and the most reliable hardware, working harmoniously with user-friendly software and dedicated materials. But moreover, we are always deeply focused on supporting you guys in more efficient and effective modeling, 3D printing and post-processing your models. That's why we decided to create a series of videos wherein we'll introduce latest upgrades of our platform. Likewise, you will see some really useful tips and tricks that will help you in designing and printing your models even better. So, what do we have for you today? A quick tour for the latest update of our new Z-Suit software. So, come on, let's take a look. What you see now is the previous version of Zsuit with a turbine model loaded. From today, any of you can update Zsuit to the latest 1.0 version. As you can see, the most characteristic thing is the totally redesigned and simplified interface. Besides visual changes, we added lots of upgrades in the Zsuit core. Improved performance of rendering and model generation along with support, display of all model layers and full support for Mac operating system. It's about time to load a style model and introduce some basic functions of the new Zsuit software. To do that, click here and choose your model file. You can also simply drag and drop your model like that. Ok, we have a model on our virtual platform. On the bottom of the screen you can find information about its size. Note the blue arrow in front of the workspace. It shows where the front of the printer really is. To rotate the model in three dimensions, choose the first tool in the view section. Now, by using left mouse button or scroll, you can freely rotate your model in all dimensions. If you want to move the view, choose the option below, Movie View. Of course, you can also use one of the defined view models, like isometric, top, all right. Let's move to tool section now. As you can see there are options such as rotate, move, resize, auto arrange and split object. Let's start with the rotate option. We can rotate our model in three axes independently. There are three ways to do that. You can type the required value in the field next to the axis mark manually by using the slide or by using automatic rotation, rotation by 45 degrees. I will leave my turbine in this position. Before I present move op option, I will add a second model. Move option is really helpful when we want to print multiple models at one time and we have to arrange them properly on the workspace. To move the particular object, select it first by clicking it with left or right mouse button. Next, to change its location, type correct coordinates in the X and Y axis file or by moving the slide. Of course, you can also do that manually by dragging the model with left mouse button. If you decided that some of your models are useless, you can remove them by using this option. Or by clicking delete key on your keyboard. Having multiple models in the workspace, we don't need to set the location of each model separately. To automatically set the optimum location of our models, just click this button. The Zsuit software has a model scaling option. You can also change the size of a model in one of three axes. If the padlock icon here is active, it means that all the fields are linked together and with entering value in one field, you fill up all the fields at once. If you want to shorten or extend the model on only one axis, just uncheck the padlock and type in desirable value. To reset all the size changes, click the button over here. Now we can save the changes we've made or move to the print settings. In this section we choose in sequence. 
the material we print with, the layer thickness, the speed of the extruder. We advise to leave the normal option active. The next very important step is to set the model filling. Actually, you can choose four filling types. Full, solid, medium and light. To show you what it means in practice, we prepared four identical samples. They are the same, except the filling. So, this is the full filling, this is the solid, this is the medium and this is the light one. Over here we have to select the angle from which the support is generated. We can also choose support light option, that will be described more precisely in the next films. Ok, now we have to click this button and our model will be prepared for the printing process. Ok, that's all about quick introduction of new ZSuit functionalities. The next episode will show you how to use the split tool and some more advanced print settings. We hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to comment, as always we count on your feedback. Don't forget to hit the thumb and subscribe our channel. See you later!